Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter can be classified into two, mixture and pure substance. Mixture is a combination of two or more different substances, and pure substance is a substance which is composed of only one type of atom or particle and that has chemical and physical properties that do not change. Mixture is classified into two, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous displays one phase, whereas heterogeneous mixture displays two or more phases. Now let us have a quick test. Quick question, which of the following is a homogeneous mixture and a heterogeneous mixture? On the other hand, pure substance is classified into elements and compounds. Element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down by chemical means, and compound is a combination of two or more elements. Elements are classified into three. We have the metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. We also have the noble gases in the periodic table. Properties of metals Number one, distinguishing luster or shine. Metals have the quality of reflecting light from their surface and can be polished. Example, gold, silver, and copper. Malleability. Metals have the ability to withstand hammering and can be made into tin sheets as to foils. For example, a sugar cube-sized chunk of gold can be pounded into a tin sheet that will cover a football field. Another property is ductility. Metals can be drawn into wires. For example, 100 grams of silver can be drawn into a tin wire about 200 meters long. Metals can conduct heat and electricity. Metals are good conductors because they have free electrons. Silver and copper are the two best conductors of heat and electricity. Quick questions. Number one, what are the three classification of elements? Number two, give the physical properties of metals. Properties of non-metallic elements, non-lustrous, brittle, poor conductors. It is mainly the opposite of the properties of metals. Metalloids exist halfway between metals and non-metals. Metalloids usually look like metals but behave largely like non-metals. Physically, they are shiny, brittle solids with intermediate to relatively good electrical conductivity and the electronic band structure of a semi-metal or semiconductor. Quick question, what is the difference between a non-metal and a metalloid? Compound is a combination of two or more elements. So for example, you combine sodium and chlorine, you will end up with salt or sodium chloride.